Hello adventurers. I hope that the holiday season is treating you well. Today we are going to make some dried orange ornaments. Now to do this, you're going to want to find oranges that you wouldn't want to eat. You want unripe oranges because they have less juices in them, which means it will take less time for you to dry them out. You're gonna want to slice the oranges to be about a quarter of an inch thick. If you have a mandolin, this would be a really easy tool to use to make this easy on you. You want them to all be roughly the same size so that they dry evenly and so some of them don't burn when you, we put them in the oven. Once we have sliced all of our oranges, we are going to get a pan or some place where you can easily line with some paper towels or um, some kitchen towels. What we're going to do is we're going to try and get as much excess juice out of these oranges. So I'm just laying out my oranges here across the pan and once I have completed this we're going to put some paper towels on top and press as much of the juice out as we can. Now this will take a couple rounds of paper towels or kitchen towels. I did about three rounds of towels on here before I thought I had gotten enough juice out. Once you have gotten excess juice out, we're going to actually let them sit out overnight, uh, covered or uncovered, in a secure location. I have a cat, as you all probably know, and I decided to put a towel over the top to make sure that she couldn't get into it. Now, the following day, we are going to bake the orange slices. We're going to bake them at 200 degrees Fahrenheit and every 30 minutes we are going to check them. What I'm doing here is taking the oranges off of our paper towels and I'm going to put parchment paper down on the pan and then put the oranges back on the pan so that they don't stick to my cookie tray. placement of where the oranges are going to go on this pan. They're going to be baking for multiple hours and you can change up where they are on the pan when we take them out to check on them. As I 
said previously, every 30 minutes we're going to check them and we are actually going to flip them every 30 minutes to make sure they are evenly dried. I thought that they would be hot and that I would need to use a spatula for them, but they actually weren't that hot. The oven was only 200 degrees, so it wasn't burn your fingers hot. And I found that I could actually just flip them with my fingers. Once they were all fully flipped, I stuck them back into the oven for another 30 minutes. If you are going to make dried orange slices for making ornaments or just using in beverages or for just decorations around the house, this is a thing, something that you should do when you are doing something else. Like I'm reading here a new book. You can also do a puzzle, watch television, something that'll keep you around the house so that you mm -hmm. don't accidentally start your oven on fire. Could go for a little bit longer. Now this took forever. It actually took me two days to dry them after work. And um, I actually got so tired while I was waiting that I passed out. It's late and I'm gonna try and finish these today because it's the weekend before Christmas. Well, no, that's wrong. It's the weekend before the weekend before Christmas. Since Christmas Eve is a Sunday. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try and get these finished. I have a lot of nice supplies here. I got some cinnamon sticks, I got my star anise, I got some wooden beads in here, and I got some twine here in different colors. So we're gonna get to work on this. The lid is cold and rainy out. It turned out that I couldn't actually use the star anise without a hot glue gun. There wasn't really any way to bind them to the ornament it's, or the orange slices themselves. However, with a tapestry needle, I was able to stick the twine through the oranges, either through the center or by going through the pulp. And I was able to attach my cinnamon sticks and wooden balls to. Andy, that is not for you. There is no right way to do this. You can do what I did and just wrap twine or thread around your cinnamon sticks and any other things you want to add to your orange slices. You can do hot glue and hot glue all, everything together. Um, it's just whatever your imagination is. And that's it. You can give these as gifts, or you can hang them up in your tree like I did. They're just a fun thing to do and to share with others. I hope you all have a wonderful solstice and a happy holiday season. We will see you in the new year. May all of your side quests be memorable and your main quest be fulfilling. Good night.